Hi, welcome back. This is Debbie. I hope that you're doing great. I am doing pretty good, so I thought I'd pop on here and do a video of my favorite products of 2016. Now, I should say this is my favorite makeup products because I'm going to try to do a skincare and hair care like combo video. So this is my 2016, not 2006, favorite beauty products or makeup products, whatever you want to say. I'm going to start with lips because I always keep lipsticks or lip glosses in my purse and that seems to be something I reach for if I just want to kind of freshen up. I think lipstick or lip color can just change a whole look of what you're doing. It can take you from day to night and it can take you from drab to Fab. <laughs> okay, this is one I used a lot. It's by Kat Von D and it's the Wolf's Mouth. And I will um, do some swatches. That's a pretty like wine brown color, more on the wine. Um, I did uh, a, re not a review, but I did a haul of this, I think. Yes, it was a haul. Now, when I wanted a nice, bold red lip, I reached for my Clinique here, and this is the Clinique Cherry Pop in 08. And that's a beautiful, um, like, neutral red. It has a little bit more on the blue side of red than orange, but I always seem to uh, turn to colors like that. Okay. Another one that I turn to for every day, uh, this I kept in my purse quite a lot just to kind of um, touch up. And this, as you can see, the wrapper is torn off, but it's one of the Too Faced like cream, I think they're called cream, hmm. readers. see if I can read what this says let's see um, well it's the teddy berry that's the color and I think they're just their cream lipsticks and this is what it looks like tell I use that a lot and I'll do another swatch this is more of a sheer lipstick and it's like a pinky mauve tiny bit of brown, and a little berry in there, too. Another one that I really liked were the NARS, um, not NARS, the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. And I only have one right now. Every time I go to Sephora, I mean to get a couple more, but I get distracted with something else and I forget to pick it up. This is a cream color in the color Firebird. This is a beautiful, like, fuchsia, dark fuchsia pink. That's the color right there. And I think with this light, you can see better. So those are the ones that I turn to most. Um, I do have one more um, drugstore brand by CoverGirl. It's the O Sugar. And this is in the number 7 soda. And this I use for quite some time. So you can see I'm almost done with it. And it's a real nice, sheer, kind of berry, pinky brown. Very, very little brown because I don't like brown um, on my lips. It just it kind of washes me out. Just like I don't like um, very, uh, what do you call it? Colors that kind of look like concealers, the, the real light. I think they look beautiful on other people. For me, they just wash me out. So those are the lipsticks. Now let's go and use, use, uh, show some blushes. This is a blush by IT, and it's the CC Radiance Ombre in Coral Flush. And I turned to this when I wanted a nice pop of color on my cheeks. Very pretty. And this goes with really any uh, skin tone. Just trying to think what that was called. Now this is by Revolution and these are sold at, uh, there you go, they're at, um, it's caught in the brain and won't come out. Uh, 
kind of you're probably all screaming at me now Ulta there you go and these are the matte blushes and this is in the color fusion and it's a nice pinky peach really pretty it stays a long time it goes really nice with my complexion there's the color again another real nice blush for every day is the Mac Melba and I still have this one in the old packaging this is a nice one goes with any lipstick that you want to use even red real pretty just everyday color or if you want to use it in the evening and put a little bit of highlighter speaking of highlighters I didn't really get into too much highlighting um, but when I did I used my Mac let's see what this is called warm soul and it's a real nice light I don't think you can really see it now and even on my arm it's hard to tell with the light but it's a very light light um, kind of mauvey it's not glittery but it just gives a real like healthy look to your cheeks now uh, for powders I didn't use much powder but when I did um, there are two different powders that I used a lot one to set underneath um, to set my concealer underneath my eyes um, and that was the hourglass diffused light as you can see I've hit pan and I really like this because it works too to kind of get rid or camouflage the redness that I get especially I tend to get red a lot in my chin and then of course I use a brush for this for underneath my eyes and I can't find it uh, where is it where is it here you go this was my favorite brush to use with it it's just the elf flawless concealer brush tap a little bit there and then lightly set that and it's not too sparkly where it'll make me look like I'm real like disco ball underneath my eyes it's just very brightening I really like it a lot and I've talked about this um, powder before from hourglass um, they're the ambient ambient lighting powder when i first bought this i really didn't like it i had to play with it a lot and kind of put it to the side bring it back on again and then i found a good use for it another powder that used more towards the end of 2016 for times when i just wanted to um correct the skin the skin tone just kind of um I didn't want to wear like a cream or a liquid makeup but I just wanted to even the skin tone on my face so I used my Jane Iredell and this is a mineral powder and I'm in the color suntan believe it or not even though I'm quite light I do have olive undertones they show more when I'm able to go in the Sun and I haven't been able to for quite some time you can tell it, it has that little thing on there I'm not liking that too much but that's from um, putting your brush in there I could probably scrape it and get rid of it but I'm the only one that uses this it's a very nice uh, lightweight powder even though it's a press powder and although it's lightweight it covers what I want to cover without making my face look too masky and if I've ever gone overboard with any of the powders I've used I've got good old max max mac prep and prime just kind of spray a little bit and the heavy powder look goes away okay so blushes um, bronzers there are two bronzers that I reached for most all the time and the first one is my beloved Hula by Benefit and I'm still working on that one that I hit pan quite some time ago it takes a long time to go through one of these it really does I love this because it's just the right color for my skin tone and it's matte and it just it works I love it and then towards the middle of the year I decided I would try the butter bronzer that everyone was talking about here on YouTube and so I did 
And this is the Butter Bronzer in Bronzed. I know they have two different colors. The texture to this is just, if you've never felt this, it's kind of undescribable because it's not like cushion, it's not cream, and it's not full powder. It's just so velvet and nice, and I love the smell of it. It makes me think of days on the beach. Oh, I, the smell is just, like if I ever want to get away, I could just smell this, <laughs> close my eyes, and pretend I just love it. It does come with a mirror, which is nice, and it came with a sponge. I used that for a while, and then I tossed it. I need to get a little water because I'm getting very raspy. Excuse me. Another big favorite, water. I drink a lot of water, and it does help. Okay, there's the bronzers. Uh, cream Shadow. I love the Cream Shadows by Unique. They're called Splurge. And here's the container. And one of my favorites, let me get the name for you, is called Noble. And it's a beautiful dark purple. And as you can see, I've dug in that quite a lot. I'll do a little swatch with this. I'll do it like in the top of my hand. That's the color right here. It's very creamy. These last forever. Um, they're not hard to get off with makeup remover or whatever cleanser you use. They don't crease. They just really look beautiful. And you can use a little bit of this, a liner and mascara, and you've got a beautiful look. I really love these. I will leave uh, the link to my presenter in the information uh, down below, um, the information section. And two other unique products that I really love are their pigments. They have pigments in matte and in... Um, not glitter, but uh, like a shimmer type. And two of them that I love, the containers look like this. One of them is called Glamorous. And this is another beautiful purple color. There you can see the color really nice. And this goes beautiful with this one. Uh, what was that again? The Noble. If you put the Noble down and put a little bit of this, just gorgeous. Another one that I really love is called Confident. And this is a greenish, like a kind of khaki green with a little, with a little like gold undertone. Just gorgeous. I'm going to swatch this one too. I'll do it like right here. I love this on my eyes because I have, um, although they look brown, my eyes are really hazel. Uh, in the light you can see green and a little bit of yellow sometimes and when I put this color on you can see the gold and the green there just makes my eyes look beautiful like a like a dark green love it if you've never tried the unique pigments that's probably the number one thing I recommend because they last forever and ever they come in these beautiful containers um they're not expensive i think they're like ten dollars a piece or 12 and you can use these like if you have a light color you can use them for a highlighter you can use it to dab in like in the center of your lip if it goes with the lipstick you're wearing to give a beautiful look to your lipstick they're just so uh versatile love them Okay, let's get on to um, some eyeliners. I have three here that I reached for most all the time this past year. My number one favorite uh, liquid eyeliner is by Physicians Formula, and it's called the Eye Booster, and it looks like this. It comes in brown and black, and I have the brown. And I'll just do swatches right there so easy to use i'm wearing it now on my top line and into my like inner corner and a little bit on the bottom in the inner corner this lasts till you take it off doesn't irritate sensitive eyes the color is beautiful there's supposed to be a serum in here that helps your lashes grow i don't know about that but my lashes do stay in a nice condition and I do use it a lot so 
maybe it does work. Okay, another uh, liner for like the um, tight line, and that I've been doing that most every time I do my eye makeup this past year, 2016. Um, I think it just opens the eyes, it makes the lash line look really dark and beautiful. And this is by um, It Cosmetics, and it's the No Tug Waterproof. And these are self-sharpening. You just twist the bottom. And I just go right into the upper tight line. Love it. It doesn't smear. It stays there till you take it off. And it's gentle on your eye. Great. They have other colors. I think blue and black and brown. But I only have the black right now. Another eyeliner I love is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL. I have it in black, but it's like down to a little nub. So I took this one out. It's brown, needs a sharpening. Love it. If I don't feel like using the liquid eyeliner, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, I use this on my top lash line. I've used this on my bottom and just kind of um, smudged it out from like a smoky look. Wonderful. It doesn't smear and it does not come off till you take it off. Need more water. Sorry about that. My mouth tends to get dry when I talk a lot. A few more and we're done. Okay, concealers. These are the two concealers that I consistently use all year. I have others. Didn't even touch them. In fact, they need to go in the trash because they're old by now. This is the, um, I never forget the, I never remember, not forget, never remember the name, but I have an extra package here. My backup, it's the Maybelline dream lumi touch and i always get it in the radiant color radiant eclat looks like that i'm sure you've seen these on youtube or wherever these it has like a brush for the um application and it twists up love to use these this one underneath here make like an upside down triangle and then tap it in with my fingers or a brush or a beauty blender, whatever, you know, I have near me. Brightens up my under eyes. Just love it. Now for areas that I want to cover or just conceal a little bit more, I get a lot of redness around my nose and the chin area that I was talking about earlier. I love the Maybelline uh, Fit Me. This is the color is 20 sand. 20 or 120? No, 20 sand. This is a great one. It lasts and lasts. It has a nice small doe foot. You can just put it on the different areas and blend. Um, getting back to when I use my Jane Aradell, uh press powder, what I will do is I will put my concealers on first, blend them in, and then go over this with maybe a large powder brush and just blend it in, buff it in really good with my skin and I've got a nice base that's not heavy, doesn't feel heavy, and it looks good, and it's good for my skin. So, just wanted to show that. One more thing, but not one more thing, actually, I have two things. This product I discovered late into the year, and it's by the company Milk Makeup. They are vegan, and all these things that are just, they have wonderful ingredients. Um, they sell some of their stuff at Sephora, but a uh, you have to go into that like area of doom that I call it where near the registers where you have little things. But if you go into Urban Outfitters, I believe it is. Yes, Urban Outfitters. And they have an area where they have all the different beauty and stuff. They have a whole section. And some of the Sephora's, because I went to a Sephora in, I don't know if it was in Orlando or it was out of state. And they did have a whole setup but where i live in florida they don't have a setup yet and we have like three different uh sephora's that i've checked out but anyway and you can buy that online milk makeup they have really nice stuff i have a lipstick but i haven't used it for a whole year so that's why i'm not talking about it now this is kind of like an all-purpose thing it's called the hero salve and it looks like this I use this to condition my lips. I use this to 
kind of put down my eyebrows if they're getting a little unruly or when I go to sleep at night. Sometimes I like to put a little bit of this on my eyebrows to just condition them overnight. I use this for cuticles. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. It doesn't have really much of a scent and it's not filled with petroleum and all these bad things. Uh, if you want to look up milk makeup on online and see the ingredients that they have, I know that they are vegan and I'm really impressed. That's kind of like the, the hero company in late 2016 that I've discovered. So if you pick up one of these, let me know if you like it and what you use it for. Okay, I was trying to think of palettes, and I have a few palettes. I don't have an overabundance because I'm trying to be making more wise choices when purchasing makeup, not just purchasing everything that comes out. So I looked through my makeup, and I, my eye just spotted one that I grab a lot to use on its own, or if I am, use, I am using a palette and it's missing a color that I need to, you know, do my eyes, I will grab for this one. And that's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Now I have the original packaging, which is the thick one. I love this palette. It has, I mean, I don't even know how many, um, matte formulations it has some shimmers it has these two that's like for a topper or for the the lower movable lid this one is like a shimmery color this one is a matte it has a couple purples i mean it's just beautiful beautiful i i just love it this is my favorite palette of the year and i've used it quite a lot i don't know if you can tell there's like a big gash into that and I just I love it in fact today when I was using the peanut butter and jelly palette for this look I was needing something a little darker and a little um not more of a warm tone brown and so I used um which one did I use oh I used this one here to put into like uh, my crease love favorite and it still smells like chocolate. So I hope you like that. Those are my beauty makeup, let's say 2016 favorite makeup products. Um, I'd like to know what you like this past year. What were some of your favorites? Why don't you tell me down below? And I will be back with you soon. I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I was looking for my little remote here. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.